What's up YouTube, it's your boy Taekwon. Today's video we have Higher Music's Red Tape Dance Like J Park Remix with Tep Park, J Park, and Parlay Pass. In today's video I wanted to show you guys my new 20 gallon long shrimp breeder. I have some exciting shrimp actually coming in, I believe, tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, and when I get that shipment in, I will definitely upload the video to the cloud so you guys can check it out. So here in the shrimp breeder, I have a, a couple of beta fish. Uh, this is a male beta right here. His name is Jesus. This guy's actually pretty hilarious because he jumped out of his tank uh, when I had just gotten in, and I found him when I came back in from picking my dog out. It had been at least five minutes or so, and he was barely alive, just covered in hair and dirt and dust, and I just picked him up with my bare hands and threw him back in the tank, and he ended up surviving. So, <laughs> God bless this little guy. Uh, that's why his name is Jesus. He actually walks on water, and uh, He's, he's thriving now and able to, to survive. So that is Jesus. Uh, I also have a male dragon scale beta in here. Um, this is Denarius. Um, Denarius has just beautiful, beautiful dragon scale fins. And I guess for the dragon sails, the identifying marker is the white. So that's actually the dragon scale part. And if you can see, it's gonna start moving up into his head. And I've heard that the dragon scale betas, the white can eventually cover their head completely to a point where the fish can become blind and no longer see uh, because the, the dragon scale continues to grow and creep up towards his head and eye area. Um, but these guys are able to survive. Um, you just have to keep an eye out on them. Um, and, and watch them when you initially put them in. So uh, I've, I've been able to have success here, but uh, not with Captain America. Uh, Captain America is over here, and I had initially put him in to that tank with, uh, with the other betas, and he's a Stars and Stripes beta right here. And he turned into a straight Mortal Kombat assassin. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I believe this is either a Stars and Stripes beta or a Dragon Scale Stars and Stripes. Um, he doesn't have the white, so I don't know. I think he was sold as a, dra a, a Dragon Scale, but I don't think he is. Um, but he had these three poisonous, sharp, fang-looking things come out of the tip of his mouth right there. Uh, and he was ready to straight murk someone. There was going to be a 187 code uh, circulating the vicinity. So I had to remove this guy immediately because he was literally going to kill something. And it looked like if any of those things would even touch another fish, there could have been poison on it. So I didn't want to risk it. Uh, it looked way too aggressive. So I moved him into uh, a temporary holding tank until I could figure out what I really want to do with him. But for the most part, the, the other two betas are doing really well. And this the betas actually love to hide in planted aquarium environments. And that's not something that I had known before because typically you see them only in cups or in Petco, uh, just in small environments. But these guys actually love to hide. Um, or maybe it's the uh, subdominant one that, that hides in the other one. Um, stays on top. I'm not really sure. I'm still trying to identify these fish's behaviors, but uh, these ones just posture. They'll still flare up and, and look at each other and go at each other, but uh, it's been nothing serious. No attacks, no physical attacks. So they're just talking their stuff uh, from what I'm aware. And then there's also a female beta in here. I can't find her right now. I think she's hiding. Um, but if you can see, I have about 40 ghost shrimp in here that I initially started um, just to test the environment, make sure everything's going to be okay for the new shrimp that I have coming in, uh, which is going to be a surprise. So make sure you subscribe and hit that like button for when I get them in. Um, I believe I get them in tomorrow. Uh, and so, you know, the shrimp in here are really doing really well. And there's two or three really big fair buried females in here as well. So there's one back there, if you guys can see. 
big old female ghost shrimp and you can see her kind of moving her eggs around in there and I noticed that behavior is just kind of oh there's the female all right so there's the the female bit in here I got her from Petco they were selling just baby bettas and this one was just this tiny tiny little thing uh, grown a lot but I don't know if they're gonna reproduce or anything in here but um, she's doing really well uh, only female bit I've ever had and that's a little baby over there uh, again this is uh, this is Jesus uh, and then where did Denarius go uh, oh there he is so that's Denarius uh, because he's a dragon scale beta he's just hiding back there so cute <laughs> But yeah, no, going back to the big buried female ghost shrimp I have right there. You can see with the eggs that she will slowly, with her swimmers, kind of just move each egg around just to kind of nurture it, I feel like. I don't really understand a lot about shrimp behavior, but she's constantly moving one individually at a time and circulating them throughout all of the eggs in there. And if I could count, which I can't, because I don't have enough fingers, I would say there's 12? I don't know. You guys let me know how many eggs you think are in there. Drop it in the comments. Winner, I'll send out some ghost shrimp or some. Um, but you know, this is just a, a beautiful planet tank breeder environment that I have set it up. And I bought these red crystal shrimp, S to SS grade red, red crystal shrimp that are supposed to come tomorrow, uh, along with some blue rillies or blue carbon rillies that I don't know if you guys have seen before. Um, but I'm giving it a test run, you know, I have um hard water or actually i don't really know the qualifications of my water but i live in chicago and i'm just gonna test it all out with chicago tap water mixed with water conditioner and aquarium salt and see if they can be bred in those water conditions because if they can then anyone can breed these amazing looking crystal reds and blue uh, uh, shrimp and even you know blue dreams and whatever in chicago's water so um i just have a, a standard pump there in the back that's uh that's a marine land i think it's a marine land 150 that i got rolling back there and people say they only use sponge filters but you know i have a sponge filter there which is fine but i just like how the marine land penguin filter gives it that flow um, and it maintains more of a, a living kind of creek, stream, river environment for these shrimp that I feel is going to be very natural and maybe conducive for them to, to breed uh, as fast as possible. That would be amazing. But yeah, I do have that marine land penguin and just kind of a, you see that ghetto rigged filter back there, bio sponge. I mean, you see a lot of people that you know, just use the, the sponge filters, but I had some biofoam lying around, some cheap stuff, and I just wrapped it around the filter multiple times and put a rubber band or something to, to like a twisty tie to, to put it together, just so if these guys do have the shrimp, that hopefully they won't get sucked up as easily. I mean, the ones that do get sucked up, whatever. I mean, you guys are, it's survival of the fittest. The ones that get sucked up are the ones that weren't meant to be, so. You know, that's my opinion, you know, for the people that think that, you know, maybe even losing a single baby shrimp to a filter is a loss, you know, I'm kind of the other way in that I, I believe it's natural selection. If, you know, the shrimp is getting through there after all those layers and ways to knock it through there, then he's just not fit to be, you know, in this tank. Uh, I only want the top survivors anyways, so. No, I don't know if there's any sort of graded breeding to ghost shrimp as there is with the crystal reds. And, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in my next video when I get them. But, you know, for instance, if we were to focus on, let me just see if I can just show you one that's up close here. Um, so something like this ghost shrimp right here, if it were a crystal red, you know, it would be great not only on the color, 
So in this case for Ghost Shrimp, like, you know, it could be anywhere from translucent to transparent. Um, and then also they have markings like white markings. Some will have red tips to their antennas. Some will have red on their legs. So if you were to grade Crystal Reds the same way you were to grade Ghost Shrimp or something, you know, compare apples to apples or something like that. Um, there's, you know, so many different identifying markers on uh, a lot of these shrimp. You know, for instance, something like that has red on uh, its antennas there, you see kind of flicking around, but more of kind of a translucent, opaque type of body color. So I'm really excited to learn more about these red crystals that I'll be getting tomorrow. And I hope you guys will follow along with me. So give me a shout, subscribe, like, and drop any comments or questions that you have. Thanks a lot. Peace.